Now, one of the things that you want to do when you start teaching this offense, we put X's on the floor. So up on the practice floor right now, not obviously on the game floor, but up on the practice floor, we have X's on the floor because these spots on the floor become critical to run the offense. This guy in the corner has to make sure he gets all the way down. What ends up happening is guys start creeping up because they want to get to the ball. So the biggest thing we do is we put a box down here. He's got to stay inside the box right in line with the rim. All right, point guard's got to come down. And the reason we don't want him to come foul line extended, come on down foul line extended, is it makes it a tough entry angle in terms of the pass. Now, you're going to see Kyle Lowry today get more here only because he's used to running it in that fashion. But you'll see Lucas and Jose Calderon enter the ball this way. One of the things that's critical is this guy has to be able to hold off almost like a post-up and make sure he catches the ball at the elbow. We don't want him catching the ball out here, all right, because that pushes the offense out. So you've got to work hard to catch it here at the elbow. This guy's always got to be behind the basketball because as we come down the floor, we've got multiple entries. You can enter to the corner. We can enter to the elbow. We can enter up on top. And if all that's denied, the five-man on the weak side over here, big fella, can always flash to the ball, and it gives us another entry. So that way there's no chance of people denying entry passes. But one of the actions that we'll do is we're just going to hit the elbow. All right, pass it here. He's going to go down and start the play. Now, when we go down here to start the play, he's going to screen his defender on the low side. So if I'm guarding him, he doesn't want to be up here where he was. Why? Because if he starts to cut, I can just slide through. Okay? He wants to set it on the low side here so that I have to trail the play. I need to be able to trail the play. If I go under this, it makes it an easy read for him to be able to pop and now be able to catch the ball and drive it. So setting angles properly is really important. So as I get down on the low side, he wants me to trail the play. Now, his first look, obviously, is this tight curl, which puts pressure on this guy's defender to help, to help. If he tight curls and I'm late going, obviously, you've got a layup going to the rim. If he doesn't gets it, get it, he's going out to the weak side. Give the ball back to the elbow. Keep on going. On the pop back now, after you set it, now we've got an, another action. Stay right here at that elbow area. You can either dribble handoff, or if you pass it to him, pass it to him. Now you're playing pick and roll. So you're going to come and set the pick and roll here. Low side again. Make me go over. Roll to the basket. Now we've got the floor spaced on the weak side as well. The five man, you're going to look to see if your man helps. You duck up right into here. All right, so we get that high-low passing. And you also have an outlet pass up at the top. Again, having multiple options and how to play. Now this is no call. This is just come down, hit it, and start the action. Come on back. Come on back where we were. As the defense starts to play the play, we got the same start to the action. So go down and hit again. Come on down, set the screen. All right. This time, as I start to cheat up, what would you do? Hopefully go back door. So now you're playing against the defense. Whatever the defense has, you've got to get your players to be able to read. If he cuts back door, go ahead, cut back door. You're still popping.